Hi guys, what's up? This is Shubhari from eGadgets for you. Now in this video, I'll show you how to unroot your Samsung Galaxy E7. Out of the numerous requests that I have been receiving from YouTube, I have prepared to make this particular video and hope this helps. So let's get started with the process. At first, make sure that your Samsung Galaxy E7 is charged with more than 50%. And the second most important thing is that make sure that your Samsung Galaxy E7 is rooted. As you can see, I have the Super AC over, uh, installed over here and it's fully rooted. Now to do this unrooting process, at first you just need to go do some basic steps. Go to settings, then navigate to about device and over there just press the build number for seven times to enable the developer options if your developer options is already enabled go to developer options and make sure that usb debugging is turned on or checked on and after that just go to security and over here make sure that the unknown sources is checked on which allows installation of application from the trusted and unknown sources as well now to do this step, I need to install an app that says Triangle Away. As you can see, I've already installed over here. It's a paid version of the app. The link that I have given below, although XDA developers does provide you with the link to download it for free, but it's best you go and pay the little box for this particular app. Now apart from that, another most important thing is that you need to have the original firmware of the Samsung Galaxy E7. Now to do that, I have given the link in the description below and over there you will find the official website of Samsung to download the firmware from. Now it's a lengthy process because it's a 1.6 gigs of uh, software. So make sure that you download it fully and properly. And after that, we are good to go with the unrooting process. Okay, let's get started. At first, go to triangle away and you have to grant the super SU permission over here. If you're opening it for the first time, it will ask you to grant the permission. Since I'm not opening for the first time, so it is already been granted. Now over here, you will find that says reset flash counter. Just check on that and hit a continue over there. Okay, it says flash counter has been reset. Hit okay, go back to the phone and make sure that you start your phone in the download mode. Now, to go to the download mode, what you need to do is that you need to press the volume down key, the home button key, and the power key. So let's go ahead and do the steps. Okay, I'm pressing the three buttons at the same time. Just continue to press them and let go of the button once this particular screen comes. And over here, you need to press a volume up to continue. So just press a volume up button for now. Now, after that, if you watch minutely on my screen, you will find that the firmware is downloaded over here and I have the Odin files with me. The links I've given in the description below again. So at first, I need to go to Odin and just right click on that. And now I need to select run as administrator. It will prompt for a yes or no, so just hit yes. Once you're in this particular screen, you need to connect your mobile with the USB cable to your laptop or the PC that you are using. So I'm just going ahead and plugging it in. Okay, once I connect my USB cable with the phone to my laptop, you will find in the screen of the laptop, this particular bar over here turns light blue. This is mandatory. This makes sure that Samsung Keys KIES, the latest version is properly installed in your PC or laptop that you are using. Okay. After that, I have made sure that the auto reboot and the FTAT reset time is checked on. I'll go to PDA, click on that, and I will navigate to the firmware file that I have downloaded from the official Samsung website. As you can see, here is this particular file. I'll just select it and hit open. You will find in the status below, it says, please wait. So you need to just wait over here. Mind you, it will be a long process. It will take some time. So you just need to make sure that you do all the steps perfectly clearly and then just sit back, relax till the steps are completed. I'll show you when a new step is to be done. Okay. Once you see in the status box below that the please wait icon has gone and it says checking MDF finished successfully, you just need to go ahead and press the start button over here in Odin. Just I'm pressing it and you see the download 
has started the progress has started you can see in the screen over here also now this may takes up to four to five minutes of your time so just sit back and relax till it is completed I may crop the video in between but I'll come back when the next step that is important is to be done now you will see that your phone will start restarting on its own and in the Odin you will see that the, all the button uh, it says removed rest is okay so just make sure that once it says done or finished in Odin you need to hit the exit button but not before that and let your phone restart on its own as you can see in Odin it says pass so you just need to hit exit button over here and remove the USB cable from the phone as you can see that your phone has been started quite well now if I navigate over here in app section you will find that there is no super SU so that ensures that your phone has been successfully unrooted now in some cases if you find a super SU still present over here in the app section you just need to make sure that you uninstall that particular super SU do it in the same way at first just tap on that particular folder and you will see that it will prompt you to go to the turn off section once you turn off that super SU it will ask you to uninstall automatically and it will be uninstalled but even if the super SU folder is present over here in the app section it does not make sure that your phone is being rooted at that time because it will unroot your Samsung Galaxy E7 with the original firmware that it came along with Samsung that's it guys if this video helps please do give a thumbs up it does help the channel and please stay subscribed to my channel I'll catch you guys in my next video very very soon bye for now